Well, the um, boy, poor Tom Brady has been dragged into all of this. Oh, he was on, a, on the cover of the Daily News today, Brady has no balls. <laughs> what do you make of this? Well, I'll tell you what, he, I guess he had a news conference and he's a very good friend of mine. He's a great guy. By the way, this is a great guy and a winner, a champion. He's fantastic. Now, if I were in New England and said that, the place would go crazy. Here, right, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. They're, they're tired of getting beaten by We somebody. have no football team, but, so yeah, we're, right. we have well, no opinion also. on any of this. But, no, Tom's a great guy, and I guess there was something where he was, everyone was saying, what about Donald Trump, what about this, what about that? And they had to end the news conference. But I want to tell you, Tom Brady is a winner. Are you going to go see Star Wars? I might, yeah. You might. I Did might. you watch any of the other Star Wars movies? I watched maybe one or two. I'm, you know, I'm so busy. I don't have a lot of time for this, to be honest. I got you. But, yeah. but uh, great stuff. Great stuff, OK. George, George, <laughs> George Lucas, I mean, no, the whole thing. I mean, the job he's done is fantastic. Did you know the screenwriter of Back to the Future 2 based the character Biff on you? He mentioned that in an interview the other day. I love that. <laughs> Where's my cut? I want a cut. <laughs> This is something that I thought was very funny. Your doctor released, as tradition yeah, goes, I see that. medical reports. Right. And your doctor released your medical report. It says, I'll summarize, to whom it may concern, um, yeah, yeah, I've been the personal physician of Mr. Donald J. Trump since 1980. His laboratory tests were astonishingly excellent. His physical strength and stamina are extraordinary. If elected, <laughs> Mr. Trump, I can state unequivocally, uh, equivocally, will be the healthiest individual ever elected to the president. Whoa. I love that. How do you get a that doctor? Good. How do you get a doctor well, to actually, write something? In all fairness, I said, Doc, I want to tell you, I'll be the healthiest president ever. And he said, well, I think I agree. And I think he probably took my words and he put them down. By the way, somebody He's actually a good doctor. So far, a great doctor. This is a, his picture on Facebook. This is your doctor. Oh, wow. What kind of a doctor is he? Wow. <laughs> I, I've never seen that look. <laughs> I see a much different look in the office. Do you do your own Christmas shopping? Well, you know, I'm not big for the Christmas shopping. Uh, I get a few people gifts and... Uh, like your wife, will you, will you get her like a do. Trump robe from the hotel yeah, every year? I, that's what I like. <laughs> I like doing it. I like doing it now. But it's a, great, it's a great time of the year. I love this time, especially in New York. I love this time. I know you don't like to talk about how much money you have, but how much money do you have? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, a lot of people thought that, you know, maybe I wouldn't be as rich or something and I'd never file my papers. Right. When you run for president, I mean, you're really doing the big exposure. Most right? people try to downplay how well, much they, money they, they well, have. Well, I don't, I don't downplay it, or I don't, but I, I filed. Yeah. And everyone said, be, because they thought I'd never run because I'd never filed, because maybe he's not as rich as they think. So I filed. And the numbers are much bigger than anybody. Yeah, you're very, and very it's, rich. It's also, you know what, it's turned out to be, it's a great company. I have great assets, I have great everything. How so, many books have you written? About 12 and 12 bestsellers. Books. Never a children's book, though, right? Oh, I want to do that. OK. Because I would like to make a trillion dollars or whatever okay. it is that you have also. So I've ghostwritten a book that I put your name on, Ooh. OK? And it's called Winners Aren't Losers. <laughs> it's for children. Good, may I read it to you? Yes, I like it. I like it. All right, wow. Winners Aren't Losers by Donald J. Trump. Winners aren't losers, they're winners, like me. A loser's a loser, which one will you be? <laughs> winners do deals and winners get rich, while sad little losers just sit there and bitch. Could be a good seller. My daughter loves it. The dog is a loser, and frankly, I pity it. This dog did bad deals, this dog is an idiot. <laughs> And poor Mr. Bear, he must feel like a loser, valeting that 2006 PT Cruiser. <laughs> this lobster's a loser. Throw him in the pot. I like a lobster who doesn't get caught. <laughs> Those losers are failures who get nothing done. Just do what I do and you'll be number one. <laughs> now, here are some frogs I do not like at all. We must kick these frogs out and then build a wall. <laughs> Oh, the places you'll go on your yacht, on your plane, with your suits from Milan and your wives from Ukraine. <laughs> oh, the buildings you'll build, oh, the wealth you'll amass, oh, the people around you all kissing your ass. <laughs> there are two kinds of people. Which one will you be? A loser like them, would you like to finish? Or a winner? Like me. <laughs> Donald Trump, everybody. Thanks for coming. We'll be right back with music from Gary Clark Jr.
I am Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. And if you'd like to take our relationship to the next level, click the subscribe button below. I'll wait for you. <laughs>